Hi guys and welcome back to English Harmony video blog. And in today's episode I'm going to answer Mohammed's question he asked a few days ago. He posted the comment on one of my YouTube videos and here it goes. Don't you ever get the feeling that you might use an idiom or a phrase that would be understood by the other person you're talking with? Well, it's a very valid question simply because obviously if we're speaking with uh, foreign English speakers especially, they mightn't be able to understand if you use some idiom that is not generally used. Should that actually prevent you from speaking with other people and using these idioms and phrases? My answer is definitely not. You have to. You have to use all this idiomatic language simply because it will develop your fluency, ability to express yourself and if you notice that people around you don't really get what you meant by this or that particular idiom or phrase, you just have to explain that because it will be quite obvious. You'll just see that look in their eyes of incomprehension. So you just go back and explain it in other words, you know, and uh, there's going to be two benefits by doing so. First of all, you will develop your own fluency and secondly, you will help your fellow foreigners to acquire such idiomatic language as well. As far as native English speakers are concerned, you needn't be bothered, my friends, because native English speakers will understand you from half a word. That's for sure. Even if you don't get that particular idiom 100% right and you mix up something and you swap some words around, even then they'll get you. You shouldn't be worried about that at all, my friends. So, when it comes to the second part of your question, which was by the other person, I mean native English speakers, right? When it comes to that, then you sh should definitely not be bothered. With that, native English speakers will understand you from half a word, as I said, and you should check out this article where I've discussed the whole thing in the very depth. And then comes the last part where Muhammad says, doesn't that hinder you from using that particular idiom or phrase? Obviously not. Basically, the bottom line is the following. When you learn idiomatic expressions, phrases, you have to actually make sure that you use them in real life speech. If you speak with native English speakers, they will definitely understand you because they will understand you even if you don't actually get it 100% right because they're native English speakers by definition. If they're foreigners, you have to judge the whole thing as you go along. If you see that they don't really understand what you meant, go back and explain that thing using other words. And actually the same applies to native English speakers. If you said it and you don't really uh, you, you can see that you haven't gotten your, uh, yourself, uh, you see I got stuff for words as well, that you didn't make yourself clear, right? Then just go back and explain it again using other words. But uh, the bottom line is, the very, very bottom line is you have to experiment with your language, you have to give your fluency free reign, and you have to improvise. And even if you have a vague feeling of how this or that particular phrase is, is uh, what words it consists of, you still have to say it out loud, used in your speech, and uh, self-correction actually is a big, big part of the whole thing. You may want to check out this article, because that's another fear that many, many foreigners have. Uh, surely, how can I correct myself if I... If I'm not a native English speaker, only another person can correct me and it's actually wrong. So read this article to find out why. And uh, that's about it, my friend Muhammad. I hope that everything uh, that you ask for is actually answered in this video. Thanks for your attention and talk to you soon again, my friends. Bye-bye.